Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. So what we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label. We read everything on the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Couple things though. First, all beers should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. If you would like to know the proper temperature for your beer, just click on the banner above. We use <coughs> a Thermoworks thermometer to test all of our beers. Also, we always use the same style of glass for all of our tastings. That way no one has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, most folks when they do a tasting, whether it's a beer tasting, wine tasting, or even a spirit, they will first take a look. Then they will sniff, sip, and pontificate. Well, I'll pontificate all right, but I sip first. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dax tell you. He'd tell you a lot better than I can, believe you me. All right, what do we have today? Today from Natalia Brewing Company, T-A-L-E-A -E Brewing Company here in Brooklyn, it is their Peach Berry Punch. A sour ale brewed with peach, strawberry, and pink guava. Let's see what else it says. It says on the other side, Peach Berry Punch, Talia Beer Company, Sour Ale, brewed with peach, strawberry, and pink guava. Okay. Come on, tell me something else. Ah, 6% alcohol by volume, one pint. Talia Beer, one word, dot com. Visit our brewery and tap room in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The seal from the Brewers Association that it is an independent brewer and a government warning that I should not be a pregnant woman operating heavy machinery. No problem. Okay, brewed by Talia Beer Company, Brooklyn, New York. All right, put that. I guess that's the basics of this. It's, it's a sour ale uh, with peach, strawberry, and guava. All right, let's crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. Oh, I'm willing to bet it's going to be a hazy, crazy one. Might as well see if there is a date on this. It says October something, October 23, and we're in February. So it probably was in the back of the fridge. Okay, here we go. Yes, it is a hazy beer, but I'm hoping it's good for what ails me. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it looks like a looks like a sour ale. So it's got a little bit of that peach. Take a look at that. Yeah, the color on there. At least it's a little bit right. All right. Well, it's uh, we just had it out of the fridge, so it's probably a little chilly. I'm willing to bet 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's just a little chilly for an ale, but what the heck, we'll cut it some slack. All right, well, it looks like, <clears throat> it looks like a, a sour ale. Let's see if it tastes like a sour ale. Cheers. Yes, I took two sips. That's because it's two in the afternoon on a Wednesday, and my taste buds usually are at siesta, so they have to be woke. Well, they're woke now. Let's see what their little olfactory friends have to say. Oh, yeah, there's a peach there, right? Definitely fruity, a fruit, mango, the fruit, the peach and the mango together, it's kind of a 
an interesting combination. Well, let's see if the uh, taste buds think about that. Well, that. It's got a tang of a sour, not a bitter, a sour. But boy, there's enough body in that beer to handle that sour. And the peach, that little bit of peach there, oh boy. A little guava, but it's mainly peach. Peach and, and sour. And that nice balance is well done. So does Telia's Peachberry Punch Sour Ale meet expectations? It certainly does. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. Share us with your friends and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.